there are two new joints in Power Query, so I'm going to show you which ones there are new and what do they do. Okay, so the new joints are not available on the user interface yet, so you need to code them. But I'm going to show you an easy a trick to code them very, very quickly so you don't have to remember <laughs> all the Power Query um, stuff. Now, first of all, what are the new ones? They're called left semi and right semi. And this is what they do. I'm going to demonstrate it with two tables. I have a table that contains a list of fruits, table A, and is apple, oranges, pears, and pineapples. And then I have another table, table B, that contains apples, oranges, and kiwis. So we're going to join this. If you remember our join stuff, I'm going to use this as my cheat sheet so as usual. <laughs> okay, so left outer, if you remember, it takes all from A matching from B. So all from A, it returns the tables with all from A matching from B. So the ones that not match are null. The left ante, it has rem rows from A not matching from B. So the ones that are in A, but they are not in B. Basically. So you see them here. And then we have inner, and those are only matching rows. And you can see them here. So both A and B has apple and oranges, is what it's saying. Well, the new semi left, it does the same as inner, but instead of returning the values again on B, it leaves them null. And I'm guessing that it is a more performant join. We would have to test it with a lot of data. They haven't said anything in the documentation, so, but it should be faster. So now the right semi, which is this one, it does the same as inner, and as semi left, but it does it the other way. So it returns the matching values from B and it leaves them blank on A. So inner returns both, left semi returns blank on B, and semi outer returns blank on A. And probably they are just more performant, that's my guess. So right outer, if you remember, is returning all from B matching from A. Okay. So those are the new ones. Now, how do you code these quickly? Because they are not in the user interface. So my recommendation would be like this. You go to A and then you go to home and then merge queries. You get B, select both. And then here you have the list of joins. As you can see, it's not there. But if you're going to do a left semi, pick left outer. If you're going to do a right semi, pick right outer, so left outer. Click OK. And now in here, the only thing that you need to change is the join kind, which is going to be left semi. Right? And then you can open it up. And there you have it. So you don't have to remember all the code. It's always not very easy to remember. So that's the trick to be able to pick them up very quickly. That's what they do. I'll see you again in the next video.